The princess used to be able to easily contact friends and family members by phone, but recently she prefers to resolve all issues exclusively by meeting in person. In his memoirs, the 38-year-old Prince Harry criticized all members of the royal family. The public was ready for many of the harsh statements in the book, but no one expected such an unchildish dose of venom to be reserved for 41-year-old Kate Middleton. In Harry's book, the favorite of all Britons was portrayed as a cold, cruel person, on top of everything else, a racist and misogynist. Such statements shocked readers and deeply hurt the Welshwoman herself. According to insiders, she felt betrayed by the man she used to consider the closest among the members of the royal family. Incidentally, Harry himself repeatedly referred to the princess as the big sister he never had. This whole ordeal has completely changed the way Kate perceives Harry. He was once one of her closest friends. Now the trust is completely gone. The last thing Kate wants is to face the people who tried so hard to hurt her, a source close to the princess tells New Idea. The meeting refers to the upcoming coronation of Charles III, to which Harry and Meghan have been invited. What's more, the monarch has asked William and Kate to personally contact the couple and resolve the conflict before the Sussexes show up for the ceremony. However, the princess is adamantly against any contact with her relatives, and it's not about resentment at all, but about their developed fear of sending messages. Catherine has already recovered from the shock of reading her memoirs, but she will definitely not get rid of her fear of correspondence any time soon. It is worth recalling that in Spare, Harry not only described the coldness of his relative, but also attached evidence, screenshots of correspondence between Middleton and his wife. In the messages, the princess asks to have Charlotte's dress altered for an upcoming Sussex wedding, to which she receives a rejection and an offer to take the girl to a tailor herself. There would seem to be no hint of cruelty, much less Middleton's racist tendencies in this correspondence, but Harry convinces readers that it was these few suggestions that drove his bride to real hysteria at the time. Despite the fact that the British attitude toward the princess has remained as warm as ever, the very fact of the publication of personal correspondence has greatly frightened Catherine. She is now certain that any communication could be used against her by her enterprising spouses. Kate is paranoid that any text or email sent to them could be misinterpreted and made public. She is cautious to the point of paranoia when writing anything related to them for fear of being labeled, difficult, again. The source explained and added that when the Sussexes appear at the coronation, the princess will have to be constantly on her guard and monitor not only her every word, but also her looks and even gestures. In addition, the Welsh is wary of corresponding even with Harry's close friends, including Princess Eugenie, who is the only member of the royal family who has maintained a warm relationship with the prince and his American wife. She fears that it may end up in the hands of the Sussexes, who, she is sure, are ready to make personal information about relatives public more than once. It's sad, she doesn't deserve all this, adds a person in Catherine's entourage.